Katie, good evening. We're talking about hundreds of people making their way here to Foley Square in Lower Manhattan, pushing for those reproductive rights. The group has since made their way uptown. Now, abortion providers have been trying to block this Texas law. They've been rejected, and that is prompting even more calls from women's rights activists. Pulsating sounds from the all women drumline Foco Azul blaring throughout Cabin Plaza Saturday as the women's march in the nation's largest city begins with a memorable bang. <laughs> Hundreds of women made their way from Brooklyn across the bridge into Foley Square, demanding an end to what they say is a massive blow to their reproductive rights. We own our bodies, and every woman, regardless of race, regardless of creed, regardless of economic background, has a right to health care. Activists like Sabrina Gates are marching in the rally for abortion justice to call attention to the new Texas ruling, which bans abortions after six weeks before some women know if they've conceived. The bill offers no exceptions for rape or incest. These New Yorkers say it's inhumane and restrictive. It's an economic issue. It's a racial issue. Um, it's a systemic issue. Um, we need to come together and understand that this is about people's lives. It's about forcing people to be pregnant against their will. The fact that the Supreme Court, you know, refused to hear this case is uh, is deeply concerning because any state can can pick up and follow suit. To enforce the law, Texas is asking private citizens to file lawsuits against violators and has entitled them to at least $10,000 in damages if successful. The executive director of the New York Civil Liberties Union, Donna Lieberman, says New York will always be a safe haven for women needing care. The pathways have to be open, the funding has to be there, the clinics that are providing services to women from Texas and Mississippi um, uh, have to be supported, and that's what we're here for. It's not just women of color. It's everyone's problem, and everyone needs to have a say in it. You've got to scream to be able to be heard, so that's why I'm here today. Reproductive rights are human rights. The Women's March group organized this event in partnership with 90 other groups, including Planned Parenthood. Live in Lower Manhattan, Rebecca Solomon, PIX11 News.